guys, a beautiful good morning here from Ukraine, Kiev. And uh, guess what? I'm turning 35 today. And I was wondering, is there any better way to celebrate your birthday by flying a 737 MAX? That's what I'm gonna do today on Fly Dubai to Dubai. So let's see how it goes. So this is how I celebrate my birthday, a hot dog, a latte, and I'm all happy. Uh, the check-in counter of Fly Dubai is not open yet, but let me tell you that Kiev has a really lovely airport. And what I like most about it, there's a few very exotic airlines here, which I haven't seen before, but after the atmosphere, everyone seems to be very nice. I have a feeling that today is gonna be a good flight. So, and something cool I've never seen before, here in uh, Ukraine, in Kiev at the airport, you have a fast lane. I mean, that's nothing new, but you can tap your credit card and then you have access to the fast lane. How cool is that? Look at that. So, just cleared uh, security and everything. I just wanted to say also thank you for all the birthday messages, especially on Instagram and elsewhere in the videos. Camera sent me a video, it was so lovely as well. So, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, guys, thank you so much. It's incredible and really moving to see uh, how much this community is supporting me and how much you guys care sending me those messages. So, thank you so much. Also, the plane is on its way. It's a 737 MAX 9. I've been on the MAX 8 before, but I've never been on a MAX 9. So also something new for me today. Uh, also very excited what their onboard product looks like. I flew flying to buy a couple of times. They're one of the better budget airlines, to say it that way. But uh, I haven't flown them ever since 2018. And it's also my first time flying the MAX since it's back in service. I then killed my time by spotting some planes such as Ukraine International, LOT, KLM, Air Arabia, as well as Buta Airways from Azerbaijan. A few minutes later, my 737 MAX would arrive from Dubai. Fly Dubai is currently operating 40 737s, 800, so the classic version, as well as 11 737 MAX 8s with 119 outstanding orders, and 3 737 MAX 9 with a further 76 to join the fleet. The airline is also customer of the 737 MAX 10 with 50 orders in total. So guys, welcome on board the 737 MAX 9. It's also my first time flying in MAX 9. I've been on the MAX 8 before. You have 16 seats here in the cabin in a 2-1-2-1-2 configuration. Um, obviously, you have four throne seats available, which are the best ones you should get. So as soon as you book a ticket, try to get your hands on, on the seats because the privacy here is unmatched. And it's also interesting how Fly Dubai, as a budget airline, has a superior business class product to Emirates, it's a uh, mother company, but yeah, let me give you a quick little seat tour because this seat features quite a lot and what it features the most is storage space, as you can obviously see. So right here, heaps of storage, as well as down here, lots of room for your feet, let's see later when we go flat, a fairly alright screen in front of you. So there are all these some headphones at your seat. There's a reading light, more storage space, a bottle of water, a USB. This is where the table is kept. And more stuff. Here's the remote control as well as the seat controls. So it's a very beautiful. Considering that this is actually a budget airline, so I'm very impressed by what they offer. We pushed back on time and on our way to the runway, I spotted two Soviet beauties, an Antonov 26 as well as an Antonov 12. I also noticed the Ukraine Air 777, which I would also love to fly one day.
so I'm quite surprised because uh, the hot towel died with the beginning of the pandemic. But it's really nice to see that they still do it on uh, Fly Dubai or whether it's back. But hey, that was always my favorite part of every flight. So nice. I miss that so much. Hot towels back. Thank you. Uh, yes, thank you. So we are an hour into the flight and uh, here we are, uh, the main uh, arrived and I went for the fish with a side of like potatoes and eggplants and spinach, uh, a lovely dessert as well as a salad and a bun. Um, there was also chicken risotto uh, as an alternative or pumpkin pasta bake. I think that's the vegetarian dish. So, and then I have a wine and uh, apple juice to go with it, uh, as well as a water. And uh, pre main, uh, they gave out some nuts, which were also really lovely. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. So, uh, and of course, uh, food is here, and turbulences are uh, being served as a side as well. But uh, it looks really good, it's really, really lovely. So, um, but yeah, let's see what it tastes like. So I can already tell you that the uh, main is really, really lovely. Uh, the spinach, the eggplant, uh, the fish not too dry, um, as well as the potatoes. Excellent uh, catering here on Fly Dubai. And though it's a little hard to uh, tuck away this uh, uh, table, the meal service was excellent, really, really good. The fish was spot on, uh, the dessert was really lovely. So overall, very impressed. So a lot of people have been asking me whether I'm scared to fly on a 737 MAX. And my honest answer is no. Um, because probably given what this plane went through and being grounded for two years it's probably right now the safest plane in the skies because obviously it was audited it was under surveillance the whole program I think right now what you see and what's in the sky is probably the safest airplane out there of all of them because of the tragedy that has happened uh, before I'm glad to see it back in service uh, with the responsibility that events like in Indonesia or in Ethiopia never repeat themselves. So yeah, here I am flying on the MAX, feeling 100% safe. Oh, there's a plane passing by. Oh, beautiful. Damn, you can't see it, but it's a 747 uh, uh, cargo plane. Stunning. It's always nice when you see traffic from the window and how fast they move and how close they get, hey? Pretty impressive. No, but just that's what I wanted to say. You don't have to worry about flying on the max. It's safer than safe. Fly Dubai offers 256 entertainment options on its in-flight screens as well as noise cancelling headphones. But unfortunately, no internet. So if you've been wondering what the loo looks like on the 77 Max, here we are. Um, to be honest, not much of a difference to a classic 737. Still very narrow and, 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 and tight in here, but you got a mirror, you got another mirror. Yeah. And also there's no special amenities. Um, here in the business class lavatory, but yeah, what do you want me to say, hey? <laughs> so you've probably been wondering what this throne seat looks like um, when you're completely flat, whether it's more of a coffin-like experience or whether it's rather comfortable. 
Um, that's something we're going to find out uh, now. The cabin crew just told me that it's only this, uh, the, the second flight of this, this bird. So that's how brand new it is. So, I mean, it's not new. It was grounded as well for like two years in storage. But it has been taken out of storage and is uh, now operating again. Right? So now let's go flat. It's a bit tight down there, to be honest. Hold on, let me move a little bit. All right, and this is the flatbed experience here on the Max. So, but yeah, overall, that's really lovely. Um, I, tell me one uh, budget airline that offers such a beautiful business class. And I think in this sector, uh, Dubai, uh, Fly Dubai is doing pretty well. And uh, I was at a quick chat with the crew, really lovely. Uh, and uh, also the service was conducted in a very professional, very quick manner. And now, this, now the time comes that I usually enjoy the most when I can put the camera away for a little bit and uh, yeah, I guess just enjoy my birthday a little bit. <laughs> this is it, this is the flatbed experience. So it's 90 more minutes to go. I had a bit of a nap. Um, I tried to at least. And now the cabin crew came around and uh, offered some cheese. A nice little snack, which is pretty cool. Um, with some crackers as well. Quite interestingly, I also met the captain in the galley and we had a quick chat. And he said, hey, if you want to check out uh, the flight deck after the flight, have a look. Landed in Dubai on time and made our way to Terminal 3, with buses already waiting for us. Business class passengers will have separate buses on arrival and you will get a fast track card as well. Thank you for everything, eh? Thank you very much. Nice landing. Good job. Looks beautiful. Thank you so much. I did very much. Did very much. Thank you. Great job. Thank you so much. Hey, you too. You have my card. Bye. just interrupted uh, this is it for today's video love flying Dubai love flying the max and this should be it thank you so much for watching and while you're up to it have a safe trip now it's also a good time to subscribe because from next month I will start to share my Iraqi Airways flights as well as my Baghdad adventure so take care and see you soon <laughs>